everyone. I've got a new coffee ma machine. It is in Ninja Pots and Ground Single Serve Specialty Coffee Maker. Um, and it's got a side frother. It will fit brew up to 24 ounces of coffee in um, one go. Um, I try, I'm gonna try the, the Ninja. It's actually Ninja, I did not know, is a shark product also. Shark actually owns Ninja. So first of all, on the box, you get a drip tray. The actual grid that comes on top is metal with a plastic base, which is handy and there's a cap up here to help. Cats always help. I'm just going to throw those on the floor. This is the re reservoir. 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 What's that? Instructions, and that's the. You've got uh, 24, and then there's a maximum there. It's nice and deep. Something little box, we'll put that there. Forget about it. Nice as re reservoir. Now we'll pull this out. Get rid of the box and see what the goods is. Now this will need to be uh, water run through before we use it. Lower that down. It's got a protective film on here. That'll take off. And then, how do we open it? Good question. Protective film there. There's your frother, which comes out like that. And it's got a little frother that you press there and You've got a little spoon. We'll get a close look in a bit. We've got a spoon here that goes on the side. Now we've got a little tray for other utensils. This is where you can store your stuff. Let me take that off. I'll leave it for now. And then you've got this here. A little thing for grounds. Put your ground in there, shut that up, boom. There we go, I've got it. There's that. One thing I do like about this, there's no, you can give this a good clean out in there, there's no like a spike sticking up where you can cut yourself or stab yourself or do whatever. And then there's this, this sits in like so. There is a spike there, and there's a spike there. Uh, they do advise you to run it through with water.
um, just to get it cleaned up. Put that in there for now. Just. I'm going to test it out with, um, I don't know what that is. I will test it out with uh, coffee grounds and a kick up. So we see how it is. That's not going to reach, so I need the extension. But I will be back to make some coffee and we'll test it out and we'll have a closer look. Okay, see you soon. On the top of the uh, machine, you've got your power, you've got a clean button, and then you can change the style of coffee you want. You want specially four ounce, speciality four ounce, should I say, classic, rich, over ice, and then you've got your size of a K cup. This is um, when you change it to grounds, it detects that you've got grounds and you can make a bigger cup. Uh, that, so that's your sizes. You've got six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce and 12 ounce. And then you can change your brew. And then when you press the brew button, it beeps and it will start brewing. As you can see, it's got this now. So we're doing a rich 12 and this is your lines telling you how far we are through it and it's making a kick up and as you can hear it it's not very loud for the first for the first one it made a bit of a noise but after that once it gets the water through you're fine and I we will see going all the time. Hey, we, we've got it going. Uh, this is the frother. We will try it out. Never used one of these before, so... As you can see, a nicely frothed milk. It's hard to show without tipping the milk all over. Ah. Hmm. As you can see, it makes a mess. So, um, anyway, let's. Right, so what we're going to do now is make a cup. I'm going to use Tim Hortons Canadian Coffee, the dark roast. So, what we do is drop it into the key cup thing, put the lid down, nice solid thing, then I'm gonna it, I'm gonna do 12 ounce rich and then I just hit brew and it beeps to let you know it's brewing and then you just sit and wait. Just looking to see what it was. Um,
Smell it quick at brewing. Like I said, let's make some more milk. And what I noticed is you can twist this and it detaches so you can clean the frother. See how frothy that is now? Look at that. Some nice hot coffee that that's very hot. Woo. I'm gonna keep that milk because I wanna make a uh, a ground. I wanna try the ground out now, so I'll get that ready and I'll show you what the ground's like when it ground you do the ground coffee. I'll be back in a bit. Right, uh, this is the uh, coffee grounds I'm using. Different. Uh, what we, we're going to do uh, a 14 ounce. I'll show you the different sizes here. You've got 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 18, and 24. So I'm going to go with a 14, I think, and then you just hit brew, and this is just going to be the classic I'm going to do. So let's wait for it to brew. I'm going to use that milk that I've got here. As we wait, and I'll put the in the uh, Amazon thingy here. I am affiliated with Amazon, so if you want it cheaper, you well, no, sorry, you don't get it cheaper. I get a bit of a kickback if you get it from Amazon. Sorry. So it, if you heard it there, it kind of stopped brewing and then started again rather than continuously brewing it let it brew up some more and then continued rather than like a full boom it's letting it steep into the uh, granules I'd imagine I don't know what the side thing is for Remember this is a 14 ounce cup. I think that will be it.
as it brewed. The top gets a bit warm up here from the steam, I guess. But as it brewed, a nice coffee. It's definitely hotter than I'm used to, uh, but it's a nice coffee machine. I do highly recommend it. I would advise getting one, to be honest. Um, like I say, I'll put the uh, link up so you can get one, and I am affiliated, and I get a percentage kit back, a small amount. But if you could use it, it would help me out. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and that bell, and keep on smiling. Bye, everyone.